Good morning. Welcome back to episode two of Crimson's Experimental Outpost. Uh, as you might be able to see, things looked a little bit different than the last video. Well, I got stuck at being in the snow and having it be cold and all sorts of things like that. So I decided to pack up shop, tore down the building, tore down the outpost, and moved it to this plains area. So we're going to get started and we're going to get back to what we were doing before which was really at this point we're still getting set up uh, mainly with thermal expansion machines and getting a better way to process materials. So we still have our steam engine over here and our pulverizer which is used to obviously split ores. Another thing you may notice things may look a little bit different. I upgraded from the stable build of Tekkit to the beta build. This upgraded a few things including modular power suits um, and a couple other mods, mainly for modular power suits is what I did. So last time we, real, we know the steam engine requires coal and water. Well getting water is a pain. As I'd have to run out there, there's water over there, and I have to get a bucket and carry it back and forth and get a lot of buckets. That's annoying. But Thermal Expansion has a neat machine that is called the Oculus Accumulator. What this machine does, assuming I can spell offer correctly, is it gathers water from the surrounding area just magically. If it's next to water, it gathers water faster and it can be used to pump water out. So what we need is we need some bucket, we need a machine frame, which again, like last time, is uh, iron and gold and glass, and a pneumatic servo, which is glass, some iron and redstone, and a couple tin bars. So we have most of this here, we just have to make it. So we need four iron for the machine frame, two for the servo, uh, we're going to need one redstone for the servo. Oh yeah, and I also need for a bucket. Uh, looks like I still need some gold. I need one gold, yep. Uh, what else did it require? Tin. Do I have any smelted tin? No, I do not, so we'll smelt some tin as well. Come over here to the furnace, throw the tin in there, get some coal, and we'll get that melting. Uh, while that's melting, I can get the glass. Nope, I have a spare bucket. Okay, we'll use that. But in the meantime, I can go like this. Get the pneumatic servo. Alright. And then the tin melts, we'll get the gold. Uh, yep. And I need it. That's right, tin. Okay. So, too too much till the gold is done. There we go. Gold, iron, 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 machine frame, glass, glass, a bucket, pneumatic servo, and tin. Excellent. We have an Oculus accumulator now. So we're going to come over here and we're going to bury it under the floor. going to put it right here. Now as you can see it's slowly gathering water. It takes time. But like I said we can cheat a little bit. As long as we get water near it it will gather water faster. So we're just going to hide the water over here in the corner. Our water bucket. Put it there. And as you notice, it's gathering a little bit faster, but not quite fast enough. So we're going to pick up this machine. We're going to pick up our pulverizer. And we're going to go outside and get another bucket of water. And I'll put it right there. Now look. Oh wow, it's filling up fast. At the moment, it's filling the steam engine. One thing you may notice, there's no pipe or anything between the two of them. All thermal expansion machines have this configuration window 
what it lets you do is it lets you uh, it will the machines will take stuff from their inventory and push it to another inventory either another machine or a chest or pipes or things like that now the octopus accumulator only has one thing it outputs and currently it's set to output to all the sides with the orange block which in this particular case is the uh, steam engine uh, other machines like our pulverizer can go in different directions so actually I'm going to rearrange this just a little bit I don't quite like how it looks so we're gonna break the accumulator I'm going to actually lower it one level because of the idea I've got. I mean, if one level lower. So I'm going to put the accumulator. Oh, I need a piece of dirt for a second. I just need to block this off temporarily. So we're going to put the accumulator there. This water down there. Pick this water up. Now put it down there. Okay. And now I'm going to break the steam engine. And that. Why? Because I think it's going to look neater when I'm done. So one thing I'm going to do. And apparently I forgot to turn the music down. Sorry about that, folks. Uh, one thing I'm going to do is I need. I'm going to make more machines that require power. I don't want to make a steam engine for each one. So what I need are some conductive pipes. These are from Buildcraft. They're used to transfer power from an engine to machines. Um, and you can just strain along a, a line of pipes. Uh, there are some better uses for it, or there are some better items used to transfer power. But to start with, pipes are pretty good to start with. Uh, they're not the greatest and you don't want to use them for that long but the other machines the other things are slightly more difficult to get so first off we're going to need some gold because we're going to make gold conductive pipes and so we're going to take two pieces of gold and we'll smelt that and the other pipe we're going to need is called a wooden conductive pipe uh, wooden pipes are used to take things, either items or power or liquid, out of something. All wooden pipe wooden pipes are required to draw power out. Gold pipes are just used to conduct. They're the best at conducting. So Buildcraft pipes are very simple to make. It's one block of glass and two of whatever material you want the pipe to be made out of. So we'll do that over here as well. Put the glass in. And there we go. Now you'll notice these are transport pipes. These are used to move items. Now what we want to do is we want to move power. So the way you do that is you combine the pipe with some redstone. Actually, I'm just going to take that. This can just be done in your normal inventory crafting window. And now we get a wooden conductive pipe here. I only need the one and we're going to get eight golden conductive pipes. So these will allow me to move power. So if I take my engine, put it back down here. Oop. That's a weird direction. We'll fit. Hmm. That's weird. Anyway, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll get it to... Actually, we can probably go like this. Go like that. And we'll put the wood pipe down first, as we know it's going to go over here. We put the engine down. There we go. Now you see it's touching. Obviously, it's not pumping anything out at the moment. Nope. I put the pulverizer down and not the accumulator. I wonder why it wasn't working correctly. There we go. And now, yep, filling back up with water. So we're going to put the coal back in that we were using before. Now you see it started pumping. Doesn't quite have anywhere to go yet, but that's okay. We're going to put a gold conductive pipe down and our pulverizer up on top. Now that blue line, that's power. It's moving over to the pulverizer and filling up the buffer. We want to put a power switch down here so we can turn the engine off when we don't need it. 
Those gold conductive pipes, if they get too much power, have a tendency to explode. Not good. So we want to try to keep it, you know, keep it under control. But we're going to let the buffer fill up. Now, the next machine I'm going to make, because I'm getting all this stuff out of this pulverizer, all these pulverized metals, which are... Uh, I actually don't have any at the moment because I smelted all the iron, but most of the iron. But we'll put some more iron in here. We'll pulverize. Normally, the pulverized metals you need to take to a furnace. Well, I don't want to use that furnace over there. Coal is annoying. Plus, I've got other uses for coal, so I don't want to waste it. So instead, what I'm going to make is a powered furnace. Powered furnace. So, to make a powered furnace, I need some brick, I need a machine frame again, a redstone reception cell, which is this gold and redstone thing, and some copper bars. Now, I believe, yes, I have some clay. Some clay, so I'm going to need another piece of gold. Actually, I'll need two pieces of gold. Uh, and I'll need some redstone and some iron and some glass, which I have, and two copper. Okay, so have to melt it this way for now. Come over here, check how the buffer's going. It yeah, should be fine because I'm pulverizing stuff. So we've got some gold, which is going. Uh, at the moment, I don't need these wooden pipes, so I'm going to throw those in the chest. Two pieces of gold, and now I need clay. So, again, machine frame. This is a recipe you'll get pretty used to if you do a lot of thermal expansion stuff. Most of the items require a machine frame. And then I need a redstone reception coil, like that. And now I'm just waiting for the bricks to finish. Come over here, double check. Everything's going here. The buffer's fine. Starting to run kind of low on coal. You know, I got nine. I got a bunch in the chest over there. Eventually, we'll do something better. Because coal is nice, but it's not exactly renewable. But we can get around that. So, waiting over here for the brick. We'll get one brick block. Like that. Oh, I should probably put another conductive pipe down while we're waiting. Oh, also while we're waiting, one other thing we can do is thermal expansion and build craft have tools that you use to turn stuff. Like the way the engine was, when I placed it down accidentally on top of the pulverizer, it wanted to point down at the pulverizer. Well, maybe I didn't want that. Maybe I wanted it to point up for some reason. There are tools you can use to turn engines and other machines. Buildcraft has one called the wrench. Uh, thermal expansion has one called the crescent hammer. Now, I just kind of skipped by what I did. I built a gear. You guys saw me do that with the redstone engines I made last episode. But this gear, instead of a wooden gear, which was used for the redstone, I'm going to convert that to a stone gear. And then to the wrench, the stone gear in the middle, and a Y-shaped formation of iron, and you get a wrench. And that's all done. Okay. So I will get the thermal expansion. I'll press crescent hammer in a moment. Just want to get that out of the way. So, crescent hammer, which is silver and iron. So it's in the same configuration. It just uses a piece of silver. I don't actually have the silver smelted at the moment. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to use wood to smelt it. I don't want to waste my coal. I have a ton of wood. In the meantime, while that's smelting, we're going to build the powered furnace, bring the recipe back up again. Powered furnace. Now one thing you can actually do is this little question mark. If you click it in a crafting window, it will show you a ghost image of everything you need. Now we don't have to remember and keep looking back at the recipe. You just fill in the slots and boom, powered furnace. So we're going to come down and we're going to put that here. Now you notice all this iron is being pulled out of the pulverizer and put into the powered furnace. 
and it's slowly starting to build up power and when it builds up enough power like it just did it will smelt one and it will do that so I can keep putting stuff in the pulverizer like yeah, I'm gonna put this gold in here. I've been using a lot of gold. So I put the gold in here and it slowly will um, it will pulverize the gold. Now you notice the gold is not moving over to the power cars because the power cars is full of iron. Obviously you can't have two different materials in the same spot. Uh, there are ways around that but for the beginning this is really all you need. Pulverizer pumping into a power furnace. And if you wanted to, you could put a pipe, you know, a transport pipe or a chest here, and it would pump directly into the chest. For the moment, since it's not a permanent setup, this just to get started, I'm just going to leave it like that. So we're going to come over here, make my crescent hammer. Yep, so the crescent hammer, iron, 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 silver, crescent hammer. Now, a lot of the thermal expansion machines, you saw me breaking them earlier with a pick. And that's kind of in my crescent hammers. If you hold shift and right click, it will pop the thermal expansion machine off. They'll just break right away. I don't want to break these at the moment because they happen to have power in them, and I don't want to waste any power. So I have a crescent hammer. I have my wrench in case I need to do any build craft stuff. And I've got my pulverizer pulverizing into my power furnace and my aqueous accumulator down there is providing all the water I'm going to need in my steam engine. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to hide again the uh, nest that I made. Getting up my precious gold. Ah, it's still kind of a mess because you can still see the stuff over here but again for the moment it's fine. I think that's about all I'm going to do for this episode. I've got a couple other ideas for after this, for where we're going to start. This wooden house, this is kind of nice. You know, it's pretty roomy, but eventually we're going to need more room. We're going to need a bigger place to experiment. So I think next episode, we're going to do the thermal expansion version of Cobblestone Generation. Have fun.